Hey, what's up guys? This is Dylan. Um, I've made two uh, Cathedral Hive videos showing you the hives themselves. So I figured uh, we'd open up the hive and do an inspection and show you guys the inside and how they're doing. Um, this hive was established from a package of bees on April 22nd. So, we'll take a peek and show you how they're doing. We've been getting lots of warm weather and because of that, we've been getting a decent amount of bearding on the front entrance. Um, uh, it, this hive, out of the three I've built, has the smallest of the vents in the bottom. All the future hives are gonna have a little bit bigger vents on top. Um, also, any little gap up here has just been completely packed with propolis. Um, this was something I expected in building and uh, researching that the vents that some people carve are kind of useless to some extent um, because the bees are just gonna fill them up. So this thing's about halfway full. We'll take a peek and find out. So that's frame 15. We jump down to 14 here. Get a little smoke. We'll start seeing the first of the, the comb from the back direction in. So, nice white light comb. Definitely the new stuff. Um, this hive has been sitting in. Uh, not quite full sun, partial partial sun. I kind of wish it was in a little bit more shade uh, because the vents on this thing are a little smaller than the other ones. And uh, we thought about moving it, but I think we're getting pretty close to getting over the worst of the heat, and in which case it'll be really beneficial to have it in the winter in full sun. So I've got some cat honey up top, all very new comb as well. Frames have stabled out a lot uh, since they get their once they get their mass kind of in the center and some weight beneath them, they're a lot more stable. Got lots of propolis in there. Might clean some of that. That's getting pretty heavy. Oh no! Looks like part of the comb fell off. Scoot those back and try to pull that out. That was weird that that broke like that. I didn't really twist it at all. And we'll pull the frame out in the front as well. But the, the bee population has been doing really good so far. I'm really happy with it. It could be the case later that I need to add a vent or something to give them some more space. They're gonna let me get this. Well, that worked out. Nope. Big heavy honey. Yeah, I think that if it hasn't been inspected in a while, the first step is to scrape the sides. I didn't see that it was attached to the walls, but it clearly it was. And it was really my fault that that comb got hurt. Which really sucks. But we got, I think we got another couple frames of honey and then we'll be getting to the brood. Uh, the race is Italians. 
Um, they've been really gentle. They're really a pleasure to work with. So a tiny bit of burr connected to the next frame. That's okay. Yeah, I was, I was surprised it was only, you know, two frames that really had some burr comb. I was really happy to see. I'm getting lots of emails about people building, wanting me to build them some hives. It's really cool. Uh, uh, it's nice to be able to customize everything based on the customer. And uh, the other cool thing is, you know, each one I build, we learn more and and they just get better and better. So next one's going to have even more ventilation. Um, and I really like the insulative cover or inner cover that I built on the last one. I'll have to do that to this at some point. All right, there we go. Now we're getting down to some brood. So super solid laying pattern, honey up top. The little bee highway things are nice and open. That's cool. I guess we'll look and see if we can't find the queen and put them back up. I mainly wanted to get in here and just unstick the comb from the walls I could see through the window that it was getting a little, a little stuck. Alright. So lots of eggs in the middle, it's good. It's like a little football pattern pushing its way out. This is a great clean. Lots of honey. I mean, we got one, or one, two, three, four, five, six, six frames of solid honey. And each of these is brood or half honey, too. I guess when we hit, you know, 80% of the hive filled, well, I'll just have to collect some honey to keep them from swarming. It's either that or uh, build another hive and split them. But I only have one cathedral hive at the moment, so that makes doing you know, moving around frames and doing divisions a little more difficult. Let's see. More cap root. I wonder if we'll find the queen. She's marked. But you can see the frames are nice and stable. It's great. Oh, there she is. Ooh, this one's unmarked. Well, so I didn't see any, you know, super seizure cells or emergency cells. I wonder, I wonder what happened. But anyways, yeah, this is definitely a new queen. But she's doing a wonderful job, so we'll leave her be. I'm going to put these back and we'll call it now. Well, hopefully I'll make another video soon. Thanks for checking it out, guys, and uh, happy beekeeping.